Good day, ladies and gents. All of us love Tarkov. Well, maybe we hate it a little bit, but come on. All of us love it. So, the news for today is that Unity, the engine Tarkov is made on, the co company Unity is increasing or making up the new fees for installing the game. So, whenever us usual users install the game, which is based on Unity, which is made on Unity, aka Tarkov, Tarkov devs will have to pay Unity guys a small fee. So, that became a big thing on the internet and everybody hated on Unity. And Unity rushed to clarify the price increase on their Twitter, they just went full damage control. And the long story short is that there is a new runtime fee announced on Tuesday morning and it's tied to a player's installation of a game, an action that previously didn't cost developers anything. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna go through the news, I'm gonna go through the pricing, and I'm gonna tell you what this uh, news have to do with Tarkov, like how it's gonna affect Tarkov. And yeah, so let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, Twitter was really fun, bro. Twitter, Twitter, sorry, not Twitter, Reddit. Reddit is just memeing, man. Uh, people are saying like, how will they even know how many times the game been installed? Uh, the runtime will phone home to Unity headquarters. Can't wait for all the pirated copies to dial home and count towards installs. Uh, yeah, all of this is, is interesting and it raises a couple of questions. So, let's go through their pricing and see what's up. So, the news was announced on September the 12th, aka two days ago. And uh, the whole thing starts on January uh, 1st, so 3-4 months from now on. And uh, the thresholds are quite simple. So, in order to be verified for that program, in order for Unity to be charging you and your company, you need to achieve two things. First of all, your revenue threshold is supposed to be uh, $200,000 if you're using Unity Personal and Unity Plus. Or if you're using Unity Enterprise, $1 million. So I assume BSG would use Unity Enterprise. I'm not sure about the main uh, differences between those Unity versions, but I think that whenever you buy subscription to the Unity engine, it gives you different uh, additional options. Like for example, I don't know, 300 hours of learning materials, like videos, do they make videos for, for the devs? I don't know, either way. BSG is probably, I mean, I really hope BSG is not using student and enthusiast option. Student and hobbyist. It's it's a free version. Personal is free as well. All right. BSG is probably not using a student free version. They're probably using enterprise and industry, which is like 5,000 euro per seat. I have no idea what per seat means, to be honest. But either way, we are not interested in this. Let's go back to our original uh, pricing. So, 1 million in revenue, uh, and install threshold lifetime 1 million. So, if it does count from the original days of the project, I'm pretty sure that we've hit this <laughs> a long time ago. So, what about the brand new pricing? The brand new pricing is, uh, it's coming for new installs, and for the usual rate, it's 20 cents per new install. So while we were joking, <laughs> I was joking in chat about like reinstalling Tarkov many times to make BSG pay, but it seems like this applies only to the new installs. So if you reinstall the, uh, the, the, the game on your PC, it's not gonna count towards the fee. However, does it count if you reinstall it on a different PC? Or does it count only for new accounts? I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, it counts only for new installs. And um, I guess uh, there is two different rates, standard rate and emerging market rate. They don't really clarify what the difference is, but this one is two cents per new install, and this one is twenty, and it keeps decreasing as you as 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 the amount of installs per month increases, the standard fee decreases. So the fees are not that expensive. I mean, I'm pretty sure BSG can afford two cents on an install if it's like a brand new install, but I I still think this is bullshit, bro. Charging charging for installs is bullshit. So how did Unity try to clarify this whole thing on Twitter? They said, we want to acknowledge the confusion and frustration, blah, blah, blah. Who is impacted by this price increase? 90% of our customers will not be affected. Customers who will be impacted are generally those who have found a substantial scale in downloads and revenue and have reached both of our install and revenue thresholds. So in other words, Unity are saying that if you're a poor, broke student, 
making some little mobile games for iPhone or whatever, you're like a small, <laughs> or you, if you're a small indie company and not making too much revenue, this will not affect you. However, as we discussed earlier, I'm pretty sure BSG has reached both of those two thresholds. So BSG, you need to pay up. Uh, free on new installs only. Once you meet the two installs, blah, 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 you pay the runtime fee on the new installs after January 1st. You only pay once for an install, not an ongoing perpetual license royalty like a revenue share model. So many fancy words. How do we define and count installs? This is the most important thing. How do they define and count installs? Assuming the install and revenue thresholds are met. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Reinstall charges. We are not going to charge a fee for reinstalls. We are not going to charge a fee for fraudulent installs. We will work directly with you on cases where fraud or botnets are suspected of malicious intent. Trials, partial demos, and automation installs. Charges. Well, it, does it charge? Does it not charge? We're not going to count these towards your install count. Early access games are not considered demos. All right. Web and streaming games. We're not going to count web and streaming games toward your install count either. Charity-related installs. The pricing change and install count will not be applied to your charity bundles initiatives. So, in other words, the worst case scenario for BSG, they will have to pay 20, 20 cents on every single new install in the game which feels like nothing to us. And at the end of the day, they can just shift those 20 cents to the end consumer, us, AKA the price on the website is gonna increase for everyone by 20 cents. And overall, it's not gonna make too much difference. So Tarkov is definitely not moving away from Unity. We are literally embedded to it. Unity is in our roots. And uh, we're gonna stick to Unity till the end of times. So in other words, big news. Sounds uh, quite bad. I don't really think this is a great option. This is not a great model to make money. But somebody on Reddit mentioned that it might be to do with... Uh, <laughs> uh, makes sense with the EA guy, the head of the company. No longer a viable alternative for me. And I'm glad I moved on to Godot. It will probably only get worse here um, on out. So apparently one of the EA CEOs or one of the EA guys is the head of Unity now and um, I'm not sure if, you, if Unity belongs to EA in any way, but I wouldn't be surprised if they try to milk the company as much as they can. Uh, but yeah, once again, I think I said everything I wanted to say. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, tell me in the comments down below what you think about this whole situation and check me out on Twitch. I stream daily and I play Tarkov primarily. I've only been playing Tarkov for the past three or four years. Yeah. Check me out on Twitch and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.